a synthetic bone graft. Now, the key to making that a successful alternative lies in a plastic that's derived from this stuff, school glue. Dr. Karen Hing from Queen Mary's University was on a mission to find an artificial substance with the same special properties as bone. It had to be light and strong with a honeycomb structure that allowed real bone cells and blood vessels to grow into it, creating new bone. So how did you go about making the perfect synthetic bone graft? We use polyvinyl alcohol. It's derived from polyvinyl acetate, which is uh, the basic ingredient of school glue. Perfect. PBA. Okay, so, so polymer, mm -hmm. and what is this? So that's your calcium phosphate, so this is the hydroxyapatite with a dash of silicon in there. Pinch of silicon? Pinch of silicon, yeah. And that is chemically very similar to yeah. our own natural bone. Exactly. Pure water. So just a bit of pure water, then just pull that in. Go on then. And now, if you can give that a mix together with a whip. I'm after a thick foam, but all my whisking is pointless so far, and that's where the magic ingredient comes in. So what's, this is the polyvinyl alcohol, mm -hmm. 20 mils or so, and then whisk away, is it? Look at that. Obviously, you want it to foam up like a meringue. Look, look, that's amazing. I thought that only happened with egg whites. How does the... Polyvinyl alcohol make this happen, this frothing effect? Uh, it's more or less exactly the same thing that happens when you do your washing up. The polyvinyl alcohol is reducing the surface tension of the water, which means that when you whip it up, the bubbles form and then they don't collapse again. To turn this frothy liquid to a bone-like substance, we need to gently dry it out at a low temperature, just like this one that Karen made earlier. May I lift this? Yes. I'm really excited about this, actually. It's just fantastic so science. This mm -hmm. now represents a very bone-like mm -hmm. graph that you can yeah. place in a fracture to allow the natural healing process to occur. Exactly. So the next thing we have to do is fire it, just like you fire a ceramic pot. And then the ceramic particles will fuse together as the temperature gets hotter, and then that gives it its nice solid structure integrity. But because of the way the PVA has foamed it, you've still got that macrostructure and the microstructure that we need to have that porosity for it to work as a bone graft. One final hot firing burns off all the PVA, leaving a synthetic bone graft that's plastic free to put inside the patient. And this is how Carrie's bones were fixed. I went in to have an operation and they put the bone graft in the fracture site, sewed it up and sent me home.